Welcome to Borlandia Unboxed. Today we're taking a look at Juicy Fruits. Juicy Fruits is published by Capstone Games. I'm excited to see this family game from Capstone. This is a new line of family games from Capstone. They provide simple gameplay with remarkable depth, perfect for the whole family. We have a giveaway for our YouTube viewers and it's a copy of Juicy Fruits. To enter, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell and comment below what your favorite fruit is. Let's take a look. All right. So. It is 10 plus, so it's a little middle, is that older family? I don't think so. That's middle elementary still. Yeah, 10 plus, one to four players, so there, there's a single player variant in here, and it's 20 to 50 minutes. I like how the box so we'll feels. That's really nice. Juicy fruits, plural fruits, not fruit, as in the gum. Oh, here's the solo mode. Oh, single sheet, that's always good. But do you have to read? Oh, set up playing the game. Okay, so single mode like looks pretty the, quick. I like how the front is one of those like juicers like we have at home. Oh <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of punch boards here. Ooh. All right, so let's test out the punchability of this. It's oh. really oh. like vibrant. The colors are yeah. bright and shiny. I like oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, we gotta yeah. hang. We gotta hanging Chad. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> but it comes right off. Yep. So, or you can Ooh. punch. Oh, there's something in here. Backwards. Let's see. Let's punch all the ways. I would give this a four fruit punch rating. And that's pun intended. Punch and fruit punch. <laughs> it's four fruits. <laughs> Punch rating. I'll trust you because I didn't touch any. Um, <laughs> uh, look at the this. only way to get a five is like those ones that just kind of fall out, yeah. I think, because no chance at damage. But these are pretty good. Not as thick as I think like the last yeah. uh, Capstone game re we reviewed, but. Yeah. Check good. this out. It's yeah. knotted. It's knotted <laughs> from the factory. All right, so we have tiles. There's little boats on the back of here. The rule book, which we didn't really explain while you're untying that, is seven pages. Oh, and, and the back is an overview, so it's always good to have an overview, I think, on the back. I like to reference things quite a bit while we play. Are you ready for this? And let's see, the first two pages, first page is just tokens, setup, and uh, the object. We'll look at those quick before I... These, are you ready? Yes. They're really cool. <laughs> Whoa. It's all the fruit. Big wooden fruit. Bananas, limes, uh, pomegranate. Oh. oh yeah, it looks like a pomegranate. Maybe a plum that's an, or a and grape. And an orange. What's this? Oh, that's a mango steen. Oh, fancy. And he's got some fancy stuff in here. Lime, banana, pomegranate, pomegranate, and a mango steen. So Those are two you don't see. Markers. The markers are in here too. Oh, a little marker. There's two bags actually. That is player discs. Yep. Okay. There are, there's some crazy stuff in here. So let's punch out these. If you want to start punching some of that. There's ice cream markers, shake what? tokens. Yeah. Milkshake markers. Oh, the board is double sided. There's water. Yeah, it's like a dock. So that's maybe where the boats go on the back side <laughs> of this board. And then yeah. on the front side, it's whoop, like an island or something. I have a feeling there'll be one of these boards for everybody. And then tokens to punch. Okay, so quickly, the objective of this game. Oh, look at the back of that tile. It's nighttime. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's daytime. The objective, uh, each, each of you has a small island paradise where you make a living growing delicious fruit. <laughs> Your goal is to gain the most points by supplying ships and by adding businesses to your island. I was just going to say, look at there's a museum. Clever planning and timing is vital because <laughs> until you until you supply the ships on your shores, they will block valuable island space, which oh. could be used to collect more fruit. But if you concentrate too much on the ships, the most promising business may be, get snatched by your opponents. As soon as businesses are claimed, the quicker the game might end. Uh, can you carry out all your plans before the time runs out? So it looks like there's going to be a um, 
that's where that 20 to 50 minute gameplay comes from, I guess, mm -hmm. is the faster you snatch up the businesses, it's probably going to uh, end the game. Yeah, end the game. When the license marker moves to the X on the license track, I don't think we got to the game board yet. Let's see. Here we go. This is the Scorch. Oh, gosh. The backside has a lot more going on. Um, yeah, it does. Yes. So this is the license track. Here it is. So it goes right down the row. And it's like four players. You start at the top. It goes down to the bottom. So when it hits the X, you finish the current round and you're done. And I think that's about it. Then the game ends. Okay. This board. Seems pretty straightforward. This looks like the score board for sure, like your score marker. Uh, and then the back is crazy. Oh, this was on the back of the box. They mentioned something about slide juice factory. Where? Right. That includes an additional mode called the juice factory. So this is definitely <laughs> the juice factory. You're pressing the, yeah. juice into bottles here. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's really neat. So that's the, oh, that. Let's see what oh, else we I didn't have even here. see another punch board, oh, sorry. Punch board. I think we went over that one. There's oh, a that's a whole bunch, of, bunch them. of tiles here. So it looks like this is the contract, I think. Oh, I see. And once you fulfill it, so once you fill the boat with these fruits, when you switch over, I think, I'd have to re read more of the rules. There's a boat on the other side that's in the water. Oh. Okay. So it looks so like you're... they're filled and there's yep. points on the boats. And then these are big areas, like an alligator farm <laughs> going on your uh, island. That would probably get you some, uh, some good points here. 12 points if you have an alligator farm. But it takes up a lot of space. So it looks like it takes up four spaces on your player it's quite board. quite the commitment. Yeah, where you could have fruit, but now you have alligator. Interesting. Oh, this has got a totally different back as well. Oh, this is the juice factory. Look at there's broken bottles of juice on the dock. <laughs> so, and they're all different on the back. So I think when you play the juice mode, you flip it over. You flip too? it over. Yeah, and they're all. Oh, this one's got fish on it, pineapple with mussels. I like it. I like the right. the vibrancy of all the pieces. It it's it fits the family type of game. It's. It's shiny, yeah, it's pretty. Definitely. The art's beautiful. Here's the milkshake tokens, ice cream tokens. I don't understand the ice cream part. I, Why is there ice cream? This is a fruit game. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's fruit ice cream. Maybe they're doing sorbet. Oh, so the last page in here is the juice factory. Um, they don't really say, I don't see anything quick as I scan this to see where these ice, ice cream, cream characters, tokens. they might be single player or the juice factory related. Hmm. Wow, this is 16 Nothing. points. Here we go, fruit signs, mobile business tokens. So there's, oh, uh, the business, there's I think an ice cream business that can come to oh, your island. Oh, I forgot that there were businesses yeah. like that. Yeah, okay. And this is a grid placement game, right? I think so. They do say on the back of the box that there is a unique... Sliding. Uh, they say a clever and unique sliding mechanic. Whatever that is about. I didn't see anything come out in the rules about sliding. Could be the solo or it could be the, ju uh, the juice factory. Yeah, it could be. And these are really detailed. These are really cool too. All painted wooden pieces. Yeah. Wow, it's pretty. Thanks for watching Boardlandia Unboxed. If you're interested in a copy of Juicy Fruits, you can head over to Boardlandia.com where you'll find a large selection of games with some of the best prices and great customer service. And if you're interested in winning a copy of Juicy Fruits, subscribe to our channel, don't forget to hit that bell, and comment below what your favorite fruit is. My favorite <laughs> fruit is uh, Mandarin Orange. And our son's favorite fruit, we'll throw him in here too, is a dragon fruit. He loves dragon fruits. Yes. Um, mine is, I couldn't pick, uh, bananas and blueberries. I love them both. Thanks for watching. Congratulations to the winner of our Coffee Traders giveaway, Jared Thurgood. Reach out to us in our About section to claim your prize. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and we'll see you next time on Boardlandia.